I've been attending Psych Congress for a very long time. In fact, in my second year of residency training, all the way back in 1989, my residency program director told me, I need you to start going to a professional organization that will keep you educated for life. And that's when I attended my first Psychiatric Congress. That was a long time ago, that was many moons ago. And I've been regularly attending it ever since then, including this one that we just concluded in San Diego. Psychiatry has changed tremendously. You know, earlier on, we were perhaps too confident that medications would fix everything. As I look back on what the changes have been, and Psychiatric Congress has been my partner throughout that process, is perhaps a better understanding of utilizing multimodal therapy. So the changes that are reflected in clinical practice that the Psych Congress also reflects is a reliance on medications and non-pharmacological treatments and social interventions, all put together. So Psychiatric Congress really teaches me to be a much better, a fuller, a more complete clinician. Many clinicians haven't yet attended Psych Congress. They are sitting on the fence, they've heard good things about it, but they haven't come yet. Well, what I would tell them is, you really are missing perhaps the single best meeting that occurs in the United States that focuses on mental health issues. Not just mental health, but mental wellness. What I encourage people is to plan early. Usually these meetings are in lovely cities, so I tend to come a day or two earlier. Make sure you connect with your friends because most likely you will find them. Come ready to work hard because there's a lot of offerings. But the good thing is there are a lot of offerings, so you really can fit what is being offered to your particular needs. But also be willing to play hard in the sense that you will connect with friends, you will connect with your community, and you will get to see and benefit from that. So I really want to encourage my colleagues to come and attend next year's Psych Congress. As a psychiatrist, my practice involves so many different things. I'm an adult psychiatrist, I'm a child psychiatrist, I'm an adolescent psychiatrist, I'm an educator, I'm a clinician, I'm a member of not just society, but the community of physicians. I need so many different things. And I'm very grateful that Psych Congress is actually able to offer it to me. So, for example, let's look at the offerings from this year's Psych Congress. There were MDs, there were PhDs, there were psychiatrists, researchers, primary care, pediatricians. Look at the offerings. Everybody had a different tilt to it. I got a lot of education on ethics. I got a lot of education on forensics. I got a lot of education on play therapy. Of course, I got a lot of education on psychopharmacology. So to me, the relevance of Psych Congress is because it mirrors exactly what my everyday looks like. A lot of different issues, so I need a lot of different education. Psych Congress needs it. In 2012, the Psych Congress was very focused on identifying disorders, treating them optimally, and moving our patients into the realm of wellness. That's a revolutionary concept. In other words, no longer are we willing to settle for just partial improvements in patients' lives. We want to push the envelope. But because this is new, I really was in need of a great deal of education and conversation. So this year's Psych Congress went all the way from the genetics of psychiatric disorders to identification, to optimized treatment, to wellness. Exercise was prominently present here. There was actually a session devoted to positive psychology, an entire session devoted to how to take people and move them into realms of positive psychology. This to me is wall-to-wall -wall covering of my needs. This year's Psych Congress met those needs can't wait to see what the next years will offer me. At the 2012 USI Congress, I of course attended 30 plus hours of conference time, CME time, but I also was fortunate enough to present on four separate topics. 
Um, I enjoyed all of them. You know, it's hard to choose between your children. They're all your favorites. All four of my presentations, I very much enjoyed presenting and engaging with my colleagues on. Perhaps the one that really stands out in my memory would be the one I did on receptor pharmacology and its role in understanding depression treatment modalities. Now, you'd be surprised to hear, even though this topic is important, it's not been discussed well. So I was able to take my colleagues into a realm that they haven't fully explored, help them use that information to better understand how to fit the needs of the patients into the treatment. But the best thing was, the comments I heard from my colleagues was the following. As a result of this, my patient outcomes will be better. So as an educator, I simply can't ask for anything better. It was a wonderful year. 2012 Sci Congress will live in my memory for many years to come, both for the fun I had, but also for the educational opportunities I both received and offered. I finished my psychiatric residency training over 20 years ago. And what I would tell clinicians who are perhaps finishing their training in training or just finished it, they just gotten into practice recently. One, congratulations. Two, psychiatry is evolving. Three, psychiatry can be very isolating. We tend to work in silos, our offices, or hospitals. I think it's particularly important to come out to meetings such as the USI Congress. There's an enormous amount of cross-fertilization of ideas and knowledge that is required, but simply doesn't happen in our practices. Sure, it's a four-day or five-day investment, but if you put it in context, if you remember that the year is 365 days, a four or five-day commitment to exactly this, progressing your knowledge with thousands of your colleagues, is an incredibly worthwhile investment to make. I would encourage them to come and be an active participant at next year's USI Congress. Twenty twelve was a wonderful year for USI Congress, but I do think twenty thirteen will top it. And here are some of the reasons why I think so. One is location. Vegas is not a bad place to have a meeting. It really isn't. Sure, we will be working all day, but the evening offerings to connect with your colleagues, your family members are enormous. But we can always go to Vegas on our own. Why go attend the USI Congress? Well, here's why. 2013 is a remarkably interesting year for developments in psychopharmacology, both with medication options that will be available, as well as basic sciences. I think we clinicians are in need of being completely updated on what's going around. Also, if you look at what's happening in the non-pharmacological world, explosion of information, explosion of advice and information and advice on how to help people without necessarily using medications as first line. Where are we to get that information? Well, I say perhaps the best way to do that is to come to conferences that are CME, that are comprehensive in nature. And I do think the USI Congress's 2013 meeting will be the premier meeting of the year.